not him. Oh, we missed him. Hey, right under the bridge. The fish has not been good. A bit of a tight spot. I hope the snakes. Hey y'all, welcome back to Johnson Family Outdoors. We're uh, ditch fishing today, hoping to locate some big bass. But the fishing has not been good. Hopefully we're gonna change that today. All right, let's see what's in our favorite hole. We're going to start off with the spinner bait. This water is super clean. Got him. Nice. Come on, fella. Come on. Thank you. Oh, he wanted all of that. Yep, yeah, he, he wanted it all and he got it. Nice. Put a pound, pound and a half. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I gotta say, the fishing's been really slow this year in the creeks. We're uh, approaching mid-September. And uh, it has been not up to expectations, let's say. Funny the looks you get from people when you're fishing a ditch that's maybe 10 feet wide. We weren't playing games with the hook set on that one. There we go. Oh, we missed him. Jeez. There we go. We got him that time. Come on, come on. There we go. Right under the bridge. I was about to say this guy had some commitment issues, but uh, he came back a second time. A little bit smaller. Probably about a half pound, three quarters of a pound. We'll go to the other side, see if there's anything over there. It's 
So it has been winter time one day, summer the next. Hard to try and keep up with it. Hmm. This side of this bridge doesn't usually, sorry, usually does not produce anything. I gotta try it because I'm here. Yeah, we're gonna get the wacky rig out and see what that does. I don't have any weight on here, it is simply a hook and a plastic worm. Well, the wacky worm is not doing it today. As I was saying, it's been so slow, even the dogfish are not biting. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Well, times are getting tough in the ditches, so we have to make our way to the pond. Water is down. He's got it pumped out pretty good here. Usually, the water line is right up there at the top of them rocks, if you can see where I'm pointing there. A nice little hit there. Come on back. There we go. We got him. We got them that time. Come on, buddy. Come on. Not bad, not bad. Little fella. Nice, not quite a pound. The water is not quite chocolate milk. Close, but not quite. <laughs> now I know for a fact that there are monster bass in this pond. All right, let's run down the other end and see if there's anything down there. That'd be down there. Now I gotta say, I appreciate Farmer Paul allowing me to come back here pretty much anytime I want and fish. I do wish had this in my own backyard. The water's a little cleaner at this end than it is the other end.
Well, this is going to be our last spot. And hopefully I get more than just a few fish for you. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but it has been a struggle this year. We got uh, this one little standalone bush right here. We're going to work each side of that little bush and see if anybody's in there. Nope. Normally where I'm standing was underwater, so get a chance to see what exactly is under the water when it's up. I'd like to think that bush is holding fish, but and yeah, I know it don't look like much. Another snag. That's odd. Oh, I hit that log, that big log sticking out there. And folks, this is why I use braid. Well, pond gave us one. That's better than none. It's time to pack up and head out. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I thank you all for tuning in and watching. And if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. Uh, we'd love to have you all along. Fishing this year, the whole year has been pretty much a struggle. But we still like to try and bring you some fishing content. And uh, it won't be long now before the ice will be on this ditch. And I pointed to the ditch. I don't think you could see me point. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. Later.